Good afternoon folks, Ari here from Direct Auto Outlet in Fair Oaks, California. I've got this gorgeous 2004 Buick LeSabre, which is equipped with the legendary uh, GM 3800 V6 powertrain, an engine which has uh, gained quite a bit of a cult following in the recent years. I always called uh, GM 3800 engines the vehicles or the powertrain the GM accidentally made great and the reason I say that they accidentally made it great is because GM has had let's face it they've had more flops than they've had hits and uh, that's never been more so the case than their newer vehicles but back in the day when this vehicle was made their uh, ratio of flops to hits were actually not quite as disappointing as they are right now but this was one of the vehicles that was very well made and when you compare it to the Cadillac and the nightmare of the North Star engine and other vehicles made by GM and other manufacturers to compete with it you know what they uh, really didn't hold up quite as well as this these Buicks are really comfortable really smooth very reliable easy to work on inexpensive to uh, repair and maintain and that's made them be a very desirable vehicle in the used car market especially since you just get so much car for the money with only 118,000 miles for what this car will do for you uh, as great as it looks as great as it drives uh, you're getting this vehicle for under five thousand dollars and i consider that a bargain nowadays where you can't get a big mac meal for under 17 or 18 dollars in many places in the country this is a very nice vehicle for the money showing you you can still get a very nice car for under five thousand dollars headlights are crystal clear front of the vehicle has not been hammered away with awkward rock chips but folks this vehicle is not without its flaws and i'll do my best to point them all out for you so that you know exactly what you're getting into first and foremost uh Actually, I can't really think of much that's wrong with the exterior. A couple little dings right here on the driver's quarter panel. One little ding right over here. Uh, one little ding right over here. And one little ding right over there. You can probably see it if we get the lighting just right. There we go. Going inside the vehicle, the interior is very clean. The seats are not ripped. No smoke odor, no pet hair. But the center armrest over here, as you can see, there was a hard plastic piece right over here. Sorry, I didn't mean to flip you off. A uh, little plastic piece right over here that's broken. And if you look on the inside, uh, that is just from somebody putting their elbow and a little bit too much weight over there. So uh, if you want this to be perfect, either have that repair or have that replaced. Also, another really common problem with this vehicle is the headliner. As you can see, it has been stapled down in many areas that have been sagging and that actually functionally wise does the trick it'll keep it from sagging down and touching your head however cosmetically it doesn't look ideal and then thirdly and lastly the front of the dashboards on these do commonly start to peel up and although it doesn't really get into your side of view you're looking right over the steering wheel and you're really not seeing this obstruct your view but this does tend to curl up a little bit and peel forward that just happens it's the way they're laminated the glues are not super strong but uh, that's about it folks everything else about this vehicle is absolutely great now uh, we have had more of these in the recent past because back in the day 15 16 years ago when we first started getting into this business these were not super popular cars everybody wanted the Accords the Lexus the Infinities but uh, these have uh, held up to the testament of time and uh, there's quite a bit of a cult following on these now but I find that many of the shoppers who look for these vehicles kind of live in a la la land want one that uh, is less lower priced than the one that we have here for sale and have none of the flaws or cosmetic blemishes that this one has and unfortunately folks uh, in the automotive business and in our industry you really can't have your cake and eat it too anymore there are certain things that we either have to be okay with or we have to not be okay with and uh, I'm not okay with putting my name on a car that's garbage that's going to be unsafe that's going to break down on you and that's going to tarnish my reputation I've been working very hard at it for 16 or 17 years but you know if your center armrest is fucked up like that or your headliner is fucked up like that or the front of your dashboard is fucked up like that uh, hey my job is here to tell you and let you decide for yourself if this vehicle is worth your time and effort to come take a look at and I, I, I certainly hope it is my job is done correctly if I am describing for you what you can expect I am in no way shape or form interested in playing games or 
joining the La La Land world of uh, vehicles that uh, are not as advertised. Folks, you can't have your cake and eat it too in the automotive business as if you're buying from a dealership, there's only two types of places you can go to. Places that are going to hide blemishes and damage and problems from you and places that won't. You're either going to buy a vehicle that you believe is in good shape or you're going to buy a vehicle that is in fact in good shape. Again, my hope here is just to accurately describe this vehicle for you and let you make the decisions for yourself. As you can see, the trunk of the vehicle here is quite roomy, enough for two or three bodies in there. I'm just kidding, of course, don't put any bodies in there at all. This car's too old to have that neon little hook on, on, on the back that lets your passengers get out. So please don't put anyone in here because they will not be able to wake, make their way out. Compact spare tire with uh, jack and tools. And uh, here we go, very nice, very nice and roomy trunk. Again, no smoke odor in this vehicle, no pet hair inside of it is very clean, very nice. Headliner is in need of replacement. The place that we use, if you remove it yourself, a charge is about $250 and they'll remove it, they'll actually reupholster it for you. Child safety locks are standard equipment here as well. Front seat is much of the same theme throughout, just a beautifully well-appointed, clean vehicle in great shape. Very clean, very tidy. All floor mats present and accounted for. Power windows and lower door locks do work properly. If you're wondering what that noise is, that is our trusty Amazon man. Amazon vans make that weird noise when they're in reverse. And of course it wouldn't be Fair Oaks if we didn't have an ambulance or a fire truck or two pass by while we're doing the videos. Again, the front of the vehicle is very nice and we're going to go ahead and pop the hood in just a moment and take a look underneath the hood and see what brings this beauty to life. When we get underneath the hood by releasing it right over here, we are going to find, I wonder what kind of engine this is going to be underneath here. Folks, have you been paying attention? Pop quiz. What are we going to see under here? We are going to see a 3800 Series 2 V6, 3.8 liter. Coil packs, one coil pack for every two cylinders, so we have three coil packs for all six cylinders. AC lines, high side and low side, fuse box, coolant reservoir, alternator right over there. You can also see your tensioner, you can also see your AC compressor, power steering pump, <coughs> water pump. Spark plug wires, three spark plugs in the front, three in the rear. Air box right over here. This must have a large air filter. That's a pretty big air box. Uh, brake master cylinder. Have your EGR over there. Underhood heat pad in great shape. Engine sounding great, performing great. This thing runs like an absolute dream. Folks, if you've enjoyed this video, please do slam that like button. Make sure you give us a thumbs up and then also subscribe to our channel. We would love to have you as a subscriber. And then if you hit the bell notification icon, you will be notified of all of our future videos that we do. So you will not miss a beat. Speaking of future videos, we will be doing a complete test drive video of this vehicle as soon as I conclude this video. Where I'll be jumping inside the vehicle, taking it for a spin, putting it through its paces and taking you along with us for the ride. So that you can see and hear everything that we see in here. So make sure you join us for that. Links to both videos will be included in the description portion of the ad anywhere you hear, I'm sorry, anywhere you see this vehicle for sale. Now if you have any additional questions or comments, I can be reached directly by dialing area code 916-765-7575 or find us 24-7, 365 days a year on our website at directautooutlet.com. For those of you watching from out of state or out of town, we also do have affordable nationwide shipping and transport services available as well. Give us a call and we'll get you a quote on what it would take to get this vehicle from our doorstep to yours. Trade-ins are welcome. Extended warranties are available. Now we, uh, do want to take this opportunity to thank you for joining us, spending your valuable time sticking with us throughout the entirety of this video. We certainly do hope to see and interact with each and every one of you in the near future. Thank you so much, folks. Have a great day and take care. Bye-bye.